Joining me now with more on this developing issue is the editor-in-chief at Mida.org.il, Ziv Maor, and public policy coordinator at the Hotline for Refugees and Migrants, Sigal Rosen. All right, let's begin with what was wrong with the deal? Why did Bennett, Shaked, other Knesset members object to this deal? First of all, the promise that Netanyahu made to the pu public is to dismiss all the illegal aliens that, uh, that are staying currently in South Tel Aviv and throughout Israel. To begin with, leaving 16,000 of them in Israel is breaking his promise. And secondly, most of the public does not believe any agreement with the UN. U the UN has proven itself to be <clears throat> a body that uh, uh, one cannot uh, count on its promises and its promise. So as about the other 16,000, the public did not believe that they will eventually be leaving. Now, this, to, to add this to the, to the fact that Germany and Italy yesterday evening already declared that they've got nothing, nothing to do with this agreement. Well, what is your take on this? Well, Netanyahu just threw the names uh, Germany and Italy. No one said that the countries are Germany and Italy. Uh, actually, what is happening here is that Netanyahu managed to achieve a marvelous deal uh, to get out from Israel. Almost half of the asylum seekers who are here right now, when going back on this deal, is actually well, the, all the asylum seekers that are now in Israel will stay in Israel because there is no way the High Court of Justice will allow the deportation uh, of all these asylum seekers to countries that Netanyahu himself said he has no agreement with. Right. So now we cannot go back. Well, you know, when initially announcing the deal, Netanyahu essentially acknowledged that the previous deportation plan was illegal and unenforceable. So what is the plan here? Draw this thing out until making the deal anyhow? I mean, what the is only way out, The only way out is, it is to act like a democracy and to stop obeying to the, to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court acts illegally. He's bullying the public and bullying the government. And the ultimatum that was set up to April 9th is illegal. It's, not go, it's got no grounds whatsoever. And the right thing to do is for Netanyahu to take the time to uh, scratch out a new, better deal to deport all the, uh, the, 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 the infiltrators, regardless of what the court says because the, the, the court has ran out of credit from the public and is acting as if he is, he is in control here and this is not the way what democracy is the, court, the court is trying to do his job. That's the job of the High Court of Justice in democracy. What? What is the job of... of, to, of, to, of now, let, let me do something. When, when, when to, the government is trying to do illegal actions, that's exactly the, the court's when role in democracy to come, prevent that from When two from parties happening. come into court everywhere in the world and there is, let's say, a contract or an agreement like the, in, in something happens let's say a third party say the state of Rwanda would not apply to its uh, to the agreement and to, to its uh, commitment through the agreement something happens normal courts give prolonged time for the parties to, to do what it takes well, the fact it's that been the four fact years, it's yes been it four is indeed years, yes it's been four years that personally I follow up mm -hmm. the people who moved to Rwanda and Uganda they were all of them and we have 230 testimonies by now and so many affidavits that prove they cannot stay there those they affidavits were found reliable by the Supreme Court just no four way. months ago no no you are well, no well, you are wrong I, you are you misleading know, the audience well, this is wrong so Netanyahu also signed a preliminary agreement with the United Nations isn't he beholden to this deal anyhow even though he's now reneged we don't know. We, we don't know what he's doing and why he's doing it. Well, actually, we do know why he's doing it, because uh, Bennett and Saar are pushing him from the right side, and this is why he's doing it. But this it is, is not Bennett and Saar, this is the Israeli public. No, the Israeli public is against the deportation of refugees. Did, did, with, did you make any kind of referendum? Because, mm -hmm. uh, because the last referendum that was, yes, which was the sorry. elections in 2015, uh, gave quite a different yes, answer. Yes, but at that time, uh, Israel did not uh, try to force refugees to be deported against the their will. The public expects is it, the, the government to force them against their will. No, this the, is what needs to be happened no, because the public, they entered here against our will. The public wants people to be away from South Tel Aviv in such large numbers. Out and this Israel. can be achieved only if Netanyahu will accept this deal and allow half of the people to get out of the country, and then the other half can be dispersed in other parts of Israel. But well, by, by, get, by, by going back on this deal, the result will be that everyone will stay where they the are. The only way out there is, is no to stand way. up to the promises he gave and find a way to deport all of but them. But there is no way to deport. There is no legal way. That's exactly why the court will not the allow it. The law is well, that's decided a question. in the Knesset, I mean, not was, in the court. Was this deal just canceled publicly in your opinions? Um, is, is there perhaps, you know, the chance that Netanyahu is trying to rally support in the background right now and it's going to continue, you know, forth with this plan? 
I cannot foretell what will be in the future, but what I can say that if the public pressure that is currently put upon Netanyahu will end in a result that the UN will agree to take a larger number of the, of the asylum seekers, and not the asylum seekers, they should stay, but of the illegal aliens to here, if this is what happens uh, through the pressure on Netanyahu, there will be a pressure on the, on the new end, then an, a modified uh, well, deal you will know, be The, the will issues be of asylum seekers and that terminology, it's interesting in of itself because yeah. Israel has essentially refused to grant refugee status to many no, of these people. Apply. that well, that are considered... They, they were unable to apply. No, they were the, able to apply. No, and, there is no way to apply. Actually, the, actually there is, and thousands of, of Ukrainian and Georgian asylum seekers that came here applied and got answered. Yes, the, fact that the, the fact that the immigrants from Africa do not apply is something that uh, needs to be looking into. But the fact is that the right, officers... Well, that's, but the, I mean, well, there's many barriers that exist there too, but I guess... But even if there were not these barriers, I mean, all around the world, the Ukrainians are being recognized as refugees, 90% no of them. This is it no is longer true. It is, the it European is. Court and the, and the UK uh, uh, Supreme Court acknowledge that Eritrea is currently safe to go back you to are, thousands you are of a former... It was the immigration, it was the immigration authority in the UK who said so, and uh, all and these It was talks. accepted by the House of Lords, no. but the fact is that thousands of former refugees are currently traveling back to Eritrea after the UK, no, Euro, no. The, 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 the UN... No, there are migrant workers from Eritrea who are regime supporters, and they go back, back and forward from all kinds of countries. But I'm talking about refugees, about those who run away from Eritrea, who run away from there the is no endless deep military dispute service. That well, the refugees here, here's have a the question right, to, right now. I mean, we, these asylum seekers or legal infiltrators, as as you call them, are still here right now. Uh, how are they? What do they expect to happen next? How are they feeling? What is the feeling on the ground? I well, mean, maybe you can speak to that a little bit. Well, yesterday they were extremely happy about the idea that they will manage to actually run away from here because most of them feel trapped here. Almost all the Eritreans are, I know are in a, a relocation process to Canada and they, they will be very happy to leave, most of them. Uh, but today they are afraid again that it won't happen, that they will not be granted the possibility to leave. Uh, like, unlike everyone thinks, they don't want to be here. Israel is abusing them for the last decade. Uh, their conditions there are ho here are horrible. They don't want to stay here, but they have no other choice. Well, I mean, I, but I, I would say that there is a community of these people that are here that are very much integrated into Israeli society that do feel far connected from, to this far country. Far from being integrated. They, there is a community. It's not small whatsoever, but it is very I much mean, segregated from the Israeli public. And the fact is that the life of the Israelis that used to live or still live in the neighborhoods where they, where, where they are beca it became impossible and, and, and unbearable because of, of, the, of the nature of the communities that they built there. And now wow. that there is a suggestion that can help these communities uh, is the pressure, then they are not interested in it and they are crying. That because they... we do not believe in the credibility of the UN. We do not believe that Germany and Italy, countries that funded the campaign to leave those people here for, for, for the last years, will it's suddenly support... It's not Germany support... and Italy. Well, the countries well, are the Canada. These are, these are, these are different Canada entity already, the UN, but... Canada was already, was already, there were yeah. interviews in Canada today uh, of decision makers saying that they are ready to absorb the, the, the refugees from Israel. All right, well, unfortunately, we've run out of time for our debate here. Thank you both for joining us. And I guess we're all waiting to see what is going to happen next with the government here.